Hello guys, welcome to the PLC school. Today we are going to talk about how we can communicate our PLC with our PC or laptop through Ethernet IP mode. There are various modes we can connect, Ethernet mode, Ethernet IP mode or a USB board. So today we are going to talk about Ethernet IP. So feel free to check uh, Ethernet IP basic information on real pairs. I already posted the link in the description. You feel free to check the video so you can have a basic idea of what Ethernet IP and how it works in PLC network. So without getting further delay, let's go to software side. Let's create new project. Uh, revision 20 my controller is l43 compact logics and name let's keep ethernet ip l43 if i directly try to go online it will give me the error because right now ethernet cable is not connected with my pc before Going further, I would like to show you some hardware video, uh, how uh, my hardware looks like before connect. So let's go. Hey guys, this is uh, Compact Logic L43. Let's power it up. It's testing whether power uh, is uh, error free or not so it's testing right now it's gonna see please focus on the ethernet ip module since we are trying to connect our uh, plc with our it's gonna show the revision as well here see revision 4.004 which gonna return on the label which is uh, labeled on the right side of ethernet ip module it's okay it's showing link lost you see because we are not connected with our computer it's connected here but we i haven't connected it to my computer yet so that's why it's showing like this once i connect it should be good so guys let's connect it so right now you can see there is a red mark showing over here and right now i am connecting my ethernet cable and if you see it's going and to check more detail you can always fill uh, check command prompt and IP configuration here is your IP configuration how it works there are two VMware and Wi-Fi which we are not focusing in it right now which is this one and about uh, about thing which is Ethernet adapter Ethernet which is auto configured right now so uh, it is on different series and my PLC IP address is 192.168.1.20 let's ping it yeah it's not pinging because it's conflict with the digits you see so we need to set this as 192.168.1 and last octet would be any other than 22 within 0 to 254 so let's set this go to properties go to tcp ip4 192.168.1 let's select 111 submit mask let's close it and now if we try to ping ping 192.168.122 which is our plc now we are able to see the response so now it's connected let's close it so now this part is set now go back to the software and yeah i would like to show the video as well our of our hardware so how it looks like after we connect so this is after i connect my ethernet cable from ethernet ip card to my laptop so now the link lost error is gone and it's normal right now let's go back to the software side still it will be showing as a fail so for that what we need to do open the rs links to set up the configure the driver 
so let's configure the driver go to communication configure the driver you can also go directly from here select the ethernet ip there are lots of driver types depending on where you are connected you need to select that driver ethernet ip add new let's keep it as it is local or remote currently i will use the remote because i am connected with my vmware let's set it up 192.168.1.111 accept close now i should able to see my controller I would like to show you the hardware so you can get a clear idea how it is right now there. So this is my hardware, it is Ethernet IP, this is the processor and this is these are the IO modules. So right now it will show you here which is directly Ethernet card. So our Ethernet port which is connected in our laptop and there we go to backplane. From there we go to Ethernet card and then backplane and then our processor itself where we can see our other channel which channel is this one if you see in the photo there is serial communication channel so this is the df1 and also there is compact bus where our one two three io module are connected how to add io module that you will see in the next videos it's it's another day another lecture for this so yeah so let's go to the software now and let's try to communicate still showing fail okay let's check in the communication who is active we can select we need to select ethernet ip mode here you will not able to see online you need to go to controller first then you then it will be available uh, it will be available otherwise it would so if you select anywhere else it would so grayed out you are not able to go online upload or download so now let's go let's go online and select the it will take me to the download as since it is a fresh program let's download it oh this is very very important stuff when you do the in the real environment before downloading please uh, read all the instruction and verify if you really need to download i'm downloading right now it shouldn't take long since i haven't created any wrong or anything it's basic program let's go back to run and now if you see i'm online with my controller so if you want more information feel free to check the this PDF, I am going to post the PDF link in the description. This is Rockwell L.M. Bradley PDF there where they provide all the details you can read and try it uh, to for the practice purpose. And I'm also going to put the link of RealPace which we going to explain the Ethernet IP basic. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please. Uh, like the please like the video and hit the subscribe button so you can get notification of all uh, incoming video in the next videos i'm gonna show you how to add io mo uh, modules to our controller thank you so much for watching the video have a good day